You ready for another 180 darts review? Here we go. Hey, what's up guys? Worldwide here. I got a great video for you today. And before we begin, I got to say that these darts are probably my second all-time favorite 180 darts. Of course, there's my match darts that I've been using for about four or five years. But these, I'm absolutely in love with these things. They have that Ted Hankey nose cone and I just love these things. Anyway, we're going to be taking a close-up look at the 180 Revenge Darts. But there's a little bit of a twist here because I ended up buying these on Amazon USA. And if you have a look up here, they're actually listed as 180 Style H. Now, I have a theory about why they're doing that. What 180 might be doing, they're taking a bunch of their older popular darts. As you see there, they're listed as like 180 Classic. But they're taking a bunch of their older popular darts, giving them a generic name, and then selling them off at one or selling them off at Amazon for a greatly discounted price. I paid $35 for these things, by the way, which is about half of what they sell for at UK dart shops. Now, the only difference though, these do not come with the reflex points, just a normal steel tip point here, which in my opinion is a better thing. The reflex points were known to break. But anyway, what do you say we grab my other camera? We'll take a close up look at these things, go over some stats and dimensions. And then as we always do, I'll go to the board for a few minutes and give you some feedback as I'm throwing them. So here we go. Should be a good one. Okay, there we go. Your 180 Revenge darts. As you see here, it just comes in your standard cardboard hang case, but there's a ton of goodies in here. So let me get this thing opened up and I'll show you everything that it comes with. Okay, so as you see there, it comes with a ton of goodies. Of course, you get your barrels, two sets of stems, two sets of flights. You get a sharpening stone and you get some flight protectors under there, which you can feel free to throw in the trash, by the way. And your accessory bag, you get another four sets of stems with one of them being aluminum, aluminum, and another set of standard size flights. So in total, six sets of stems, three sets of standard size flights, and again, $35 shipped for all this stuff. Absolutely amazing deal. But let's get a close-up look at these darts and go over some stats and dimensions. Well, okay, there we go. Kind of some oddball colors. I went with purple and orange. So I don't know. That'll do. But running down some stats and dimensions, these are a 90% tungsten barrel. The barrel length coming in 49.6 millimeters long. And the barrel width, these are really thin barrels, 6.25 millimeters wide. And these are advertised as 20 grams. Two of the barrels came in at 20.04 grams, and one of the other barrels, 20.09. So we're only talking like four one hundredths of a gram, something that you will never, never notice. But let me give you a close up look here, and we'll check out these incredible, kind of weird nose cones. Here we go. Okay, there we go. Nice close up look at the barrels there, and check out the nose cones on these things. It reminds me a little bit of the Ted Hankey darts. With the only exception, though, and what 180 is known for is that perfect transition from point to barrel. And the lip actually is so minimal on these darts. When I went to measure the length of the barrels with my digital calipers, it kept slipping right there in the front end. I mean, there's just no lip there at all. What that means for us, the dart player, is that your darts are going to glide past one another in the board. You're going to get no wild deflections. And as a bonus, your flights are going to last about 10 times as long. But looking at the grip, you have a little uh, this little razor section here in the front. And to be honest, that reminds me a lot of the 2020 World Championship Edition Peter Wright darts. The razor grip is very minimal. It's not sharp at all, and you really don't feel it. To me, it feels like a multi-ring grip. And then on the back end of the darts here, you just have a very fine multi-ring. And I don't know, it's not. it doesn't feel smooth, but it's a very slippery grip. I'd rate that a grip level 2 on a scale of one to five, and probably overall I'd give these a level two because my fingers don't come anywhere near this razor grip. So I don't touch that whatsoever, but even if it was, this grip here might be a level two and a half on a scale of one to five. It's not that grippy at all. But let's get these things on the board. I'm gonna throw on my Cosmo Stem and Flights, and uh, I got a feeling these are gonna be flying really well. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Just a few throws with the 180 Revenge. No secret, I absolutely love these darts. They remind me so much of my 180 Reloads, my match darts that I've been using since like 2016. The grip on the back end is almost identical. Really, the only difference is my Reloads are 5. Point, uh, yeah, 5.6 millimeters wide, and these are 6.2. So just a little bit thicker. You know, some positives with these darts. Obviously, the price, $35. 
here in the United States for a dart this nice. I mean, that's just a great deal. Bunch of, uh, bunch of extras that it comes with. Oh, 96. Another positive, obviously, and it's the case with a lot of 180 darts, is this nose cone with that perfect transition from point to barrel. You know, it's like a built-in storm, storm point, and uh, your flights aren't going to get beat up. You're going to experience less deflections or less wild deflections. Whew. And, uh, you know, really the only negative with these darts are the silver points. I've lost a couple out of the board. Just these points are really slippery, but it's an easy fix with just a little tiny piece of sandpaper. You can scuff up the points. Obviously do them a little longer than that, but scuff up the points and you can solve that problem. But, I mean, if I was to use these things, I would probably install some black points. Pre, boom, there we go. But yeah, I'd probably uh, just install some black points and call it a day with these things. And the razor grip, let me see if I can show you my grip really quick. Always hard with a camera, but pretty much that's my grip. Wow, that's kind of weird. It's so hard to show you, but my finger is nowhere near the front end of this barrel. So that razor grip doesn't affect me at all. Oh, I should have probably stopped <laughs> with that 180 right there. 100. But actually, I will stop right there. I guess I've been rambling on enough. And as always on this channel, we do have one more clip for you. Hope you guys enjoy it. Wow, right in the corner. Yeah. Pinned right in the right-hand corner. <laughs> There's the left. How about one in the middle? Hey! Boom! Roasted. We got a left. Well, we got a kind of a middle. And a right. Well, there we go. That was kind of a good 180. I don't think any of the darts climbed together. A no-touching 180. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the close-up look at the 180 Revenge. The link for these will be down in the pinned comment. And speaking of comments, please feel free to leave a comment of your own. And if you enjoyed the video, I would appreciate it if you left a thumbs up. So, as always, guys, we will see you on the next video.